Hello, this gaming dragon here. State of play uh, happened today. I had no idea it was going to be today. So I slept in and missed it. So, I'm gonna go watch it now. Okay. I guess this is how all state of play start. It starts up similar to a PS4 starting up. All right, off to a good start. Crash Bandicoot. Hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, producer of Toys for Bob. Hi, Lou Stutter. To talk to you about Crash Bandicoot. Toys for Bob. It's Ellen's Neo Cortex and Doctor Entropy have finally escaped their interdimensional prison, leaving an evil scientist-sized hole in the universe. Now they've got their eyes set on not only simply conquering this dimension, but all dimensions. What about and the Crash and Coco to save the day? And, and Crash uh... Bandicoot 4. It's about time is the first totally new game in the Crash Bandicoot series the... in over a decade. So for us at the Toys big, for Bob, the we skinny felt guy. it was important to reintroduce longtime fans I as well as new is. players to this amazing first. We made sure to incorporate the classic tense, precise, and perspective-shifting platforming that we all fell in love with. And then it looks like an old Crash Bandicoot game. Very nice. That we can't wait to show you today. Let's start with insanity. Like open world. This is where Crash's adventure first started, and where we picked things up again in Crash Four. Oh shit, but there have that's definitely cool. Been changes since we first saw Insanity Beach all those years ago, and throughout Crash Four. You'll see those changes to our gameplay and even our art style. Our art teams wanted to take inspiration from not just the original games, but the animated cartoons that inspired those original games, all while also delivering bigger, more awe-inspiring dimensions to explore. That's Throughout cool. Crash 4, you'll see wide open new vistas, new character models, and lots of expressive animations. And with all of that, also is, uh, the, the, to the platform, is it me or is the like graphic, the or did the graphics run, get downgraded swing, a little bit rail grind and zip since the well. reveal trailer? In the original trilogy, specifically Crash Warped, there were certain moments in the game where Crash would change outfits. Think Crash wearing a biker oh, jacket looks so and weird. riding a motorcycle. That seemed like a natural area for us to expand upon. So we have uh, loaded the game with tons of awesome skins nice. that you can earn and wear throughout the game. These skins are totally cosmetic and a fun way to express yourself while playing oh. the game. And just to be clear, there's no MTX here. Bronies! Skins are earned by completing different challenges and earning gems within levels. Crash you don't want the Brony fan base, the Crash. Masks, the powerful protectors of time and space. Crash and Coco will need their assistance throughout the game to tackle the crazy they know their fan base. we're going to be throwing at the player. Whether it's They're like, our fans are just a bunch of Spyro Scaly fans. Your center of gravity at the press of a button. So might as well get the brony audience you know, while we're at it. You to slow down the world around you. Oh, cool. Lonnie Loli, who allows you to phase shift elements in and out of existence. Lonnie Loli. Reality and altering your environment with these new masks is a must. We also can't wait to talk to you about the uh, Mega Man X ripoff. But that's going to have to wait for another day. What we can tell you today, though, is that Crash isn't the only character you get to take control of during this adventure. For starters, you can play the entire game as Coco. Any level that you can play as Crash, you can also play as Coco. And it's you can play as a that she take Cortex. A more prominent role in the story and this time and as well. not and Jin. That's not all. We've got a few other characters that you'll get to control at key points in the adventure, so that they can provide their own fresh perspective. He's voiced by Maurice LaMarche. I Here forget his name. Here you can see that you'll be taking control of Neo Cortex. He's all about using his blaster to change an enemy in his path. In addition to playing as Cortex, we're excited <laughs> to reveal that for the first time, you what? Tail slap your way through crates as Dingo Dial. I repeat, you get to play as Dingo Dial in Crash Four, and open a. Dino. Okay, that's. Unfortunately for Dingo, fortunately for us, oh my god, by witnessing the destruction of said beloved diner and getting sucked into another dimension. Finally, that's one amazing. More surprise I'm incredibly excited to show you today. The Crash Bandicoot series has always been about finding new and exciting ways to play through the game. In the that's past, so it's been good. On time trials or discovering all the hidden secrets. Well, for Crash 4, we wanted to bring something brand new to the table. So we teamed up with our friends at Beanox to create a brand new style ah, of play for Crash 4. That Beanox we also mode. worked on it's our it. souped up, bump a berry fueled take on a mirror mode. Not only are perspective shifted, 
But now each of the dimensions See, are rendered in a new. I was new wondering why Beanox didn't get to uh, the look and feel the develop experience. this game since they uh, were the ones who you to traverse through a neon wasteland, developed while another task players with spinning uh, paint all over the environment to see their path forward. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. It feels like an old timey movie with the overcranked camera speed increasing the actual speed of gameplay as well. Okay, so Once on hard level, mode. Players cool. can replay all the game's levels with a totally new and dynamic look. Cool, and cool. Feel. It's an incredibly fun feature that is going. Oh, player, oh, okay. the completionists out there. A reason to revisit each level again to see what new and exciting experience is in store for them. So that's some of the yeah, stuff that we Yeah, he said it was mirror mode, but I didn't think it was be, it would be that intricate. Experience the Toys space and bending madness on October 2nd. Booga booga. Dude, Dingo Dial got me hard. Today's state of play is loaded with third-party updates for PS4 and PSVR, and some new PS5 gameplay, too. We open the show with an all-new look at Crash 4. It's about time, coming to PlayStation okay, 4 well, on October 2nd. You better end it with uh, Spyro 4. With the latest from IO Interactive. I'm so glad IOI became its own uh, independent company now. Square Enix doesn't own Hitman anymore. Oh cool, there's like a first person mode just like Grand Theft Auto. That's actually pretty cool. Hitman is Hitman. Hitman's good. Hitman Hitman good game. Uh Silent Resident Evil. Okay. Okay. Is this Kojima's new uh, Junji Ito game? God, my mind is racing right now, trying to figure out what it is. Okay, it's probably not a horror. Oh. How could you... How could you... Pull the rug out from under me like that. We are happy to announce Braid Anniversary Edition. It's the classic puzzle adventure where you manipulate time, hand repainted for modern high resolutions. Many areas in paint. You went from a live action animating the world. Footage there are more than nine pixels so like for each pixel in the original game. This. All right. Okay. The Pathless is a mythic adventure set on a mystical island. Let's take a quick tour in this new footage captured from PS5. Hi everyone, this is Matt Nava from Giant Squid. I'm excited to share more with you Giant today Squid. about our upcoming game, The Pathless. They made the game that I played a long time ago on this channel. Uh, inner the inner is space. Open world mythic adventure game set in a vast forest. You play as the hunter. I'm pretty sure they made inner space. The hunter is a master of archery. She can shoot talismans yeah, to build seen... her dash meter, which allows her to bound across the landscape. I've seen trailers of this game, but I, I didn't know how. It's like Everwild. I didn't know how uh, fully realized it would be. The so the game's unique take on archery. It was just pre-alpha footage. Timing, not aiming down sights. This design was critical to making it possible to shoot even while moving fast and performing acrobatic okay. maneuvers. You okay. instantly feel. As skilled as the hunter herself. So it's like a, it's like an open world kind of game. Help from the eagle, you can even fly. The bond between the hunter and the eagle is central in the pathless. You can this gain is what Sonic game should be like. By flapping. Make sure you pet the eagle to keep it clean and in good flying condition. There, there, eagle. Grooming. You'll find secrets all over the island, if you know where to look. Your relationship with your bird went up Collecting by one. Crystals will let you upgrade the eagle's ability to flap. Okay, so it's like a puzzle game, like eco, but with momentum physics. Cool. The pathless is all about finding your own way forward. So unlike most open-world games, there's no map. Instead, 
the hunter can use her mask to peer into the spirit world and discover distant landmarks. It even shows you where you've been. Hmm. Getting to higher vantage points will let you see further with spirit vision. I could put my mask on with no hands, baby. Cool. Giant cursed spirits, the source of the darkness, will pose a constant threat to you on your quest. They will try to separate you from the eagle. Here I come, rougher than the rest of them, the best of them, tougher than... Stay still in the light to avoid detection. I found you! You won't be able to take on the Wait, but he can see you now. Until you've returned light to the obelisks. How do you even get that high? When the obelisks are restored, the cursed spirits will be vulnerable. Chase them down through the forest to corner them in a dramatic final battle. I got you now. He's on the run. I will hunt this monster. So far everything looks good. I feel like it could use a story or something. I wonder if there's going to be like any story to this, the hunter and eagle or if it's just defeat the cursed spirits you make the story as you go the along. Dodge. We've only scratched the surface. There's so much more to explore. Or the story and tells discover. itself without cutscenes or the words. This is coming out later this year. Thanks for watching. Well, guess I might play it. Of Spelunky. Throat singing. For Spelunky 2, I wanted to make sure we made something that got old fans excited and also brought in new players. Spelunky such a unique experience in the first place. So many people became fans of the game. That's one reason why we're adding online multiplayer, so that more people can play the game together. And I also wanted to include that Pug. the community into Spelunky 2 itself to make Puggy. sure that the game felt welcoming even though it's difficult. Puggy. In Spelunky 2, when you do runs and discover new characters, you'll, for example, you'll be able to ride turkeys. Turkey? Gobble gobble. Cool! I've never actually played Spelunky. I just thought it was weird because so the Spelunky main character looked like Mario. the shopping experience and made them more nuanced and exciting. And also added new characters that can help you or hinder you. Given how amazing the Spelunky community is, it's hard to say how long it will take to find the deepest secrets. But I think the great thing about Spelunky is that the deepest secrets are the ones that even I don't know about. That didn't lots kill. Of new things to play that with hitbox that is bullshit. And second, the ones where people shared a Wait, are you the daughter of the of the main character from the first one? What kind of game is this? In the world. Knowing that possibility was out That's there, all I want to know is what kind of game the the rest this of the is. Team. Is what kind of game is this? When Thanks. Looks like you can die horribly. So it's like a. Uh, What's that game where you can just get fucking wrecked? We've got a bunch of new PS4 updates to share with you. Start oh. with a closer look at Genshin Impact. Oh, Genshin Impact. Impact! Oh! Hey, there's something strange over there. Come on, let's take a look. Make the Nintendo fans destroy their PS4s in protest.
Like, I'm pretty sure this game is coming out on Switch too, so I don't understand the need to destroy your PS4 in protest, like... It's not exclusive to PlayStation, I don't think. I deal in death. If you cannot bring yourself to kill... Oh, this looks so good. What is this disturbing Wolfie. Which I awaken? He has a voice. Huh? Think you can get away? Time for takeoff! Coming to PlayStation 4 worldwide. Okay, but I think it's a launch exclusive. I'm pretty sure it is. Focus? Whoa. I like how it's animated. The frame rate's even cut down to look like 12 frames per second. It kind of looks like Gendy Tartowski made this. Aeon must die. Captain, we're just here at a boat. Oh! Is this the last night? It can't be the last night. This looks really good. Uh, cyberpunk is becoming an overrated genre. Cyberpunk's like the new... Uh, Overdone genre. It's like uh, 2.5D, but she's she's like a pixel. Yeah, she's pixelated, but the rest of the world is in 3D. And what would have been cool is if the whole world was pixelated, but also looked 3D, just like the last night. Let's check out some gameplay Yay! footage captured from PS5. My invitation is open. Come join me on the island. Am I the only one who thinks this looks like Viva Pinata? Oh. Wow, that's your new lead. Another monster. See, Clumby Clumbernut. Elizabeth Megafig is a two-bit con artist. Don't tell me you actually Mega believe Fig? this half-baked nonsense. I swear, if you chase this bug snack story, you're out of a job! You're the journalist! Esbert said you'd be coming. There's a bug snack right over there. Do me a favor and take my snack trap. Uh, stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. Look, it's a burger! It and it's still got the, the wrapping on it. I want it. you to use that journalistic instinct to find Ew. out what my favorite <laughs> bug snack is. And feed it to me, Ob's. How's my little sprout doing? He misses Papa. Oh, of course he does. Ew. Tacos? Prototype traps that I could put to use. That's Maurice LaMarche. That's Maurice nice. LaMarche. Nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Well... Say you do find these bug snacks and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff. 
pizza! A uh, pizza dragon. Pizza pterodactyl. There's a lot more in store. Let's start with an update on an eagerly awaited PlayStation VR game. Oh. You must stop, Vida. I don't understand why you never mentioned that you had the force. How the fuck does a droid know what the force is? WWF presents Vader Immortal. Whatever you do, stay in the light. Is this another braid? Remedy? What is it? Control 2? They're already making uh, Crossfire X. It looks like control. Expansion to aw. Aw. More cyberpunk. Have some more cyberpunk. Take all the synthwave cyberpunk you want, consumer fools. What the fuck is this? What am I looking at? Auto chess? Cyber chess. Should have been called cyber chess. Sh snark fluid. That's impossible. It's Mr. Game and Watch. Okay, that's cool. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, what, what, do you like eventually go out into the city and up in the space and eventually become a real person? Wait, you can't do that, that's cheating! That's not even close to the sign you were at. At. The pedestrian. You, you can't just go from reflective surface to another, you're not the hangman. Now let's take a look at two new games I'm scared. added to PS5. More focus? Sumo New Castle. Authority and steel will not stop us. Oh, we are ah. an invading army. We are race. We bypass defenses. I think I know what this is. This is like that hack and slash, like what if drag, like Dragon Age, but with more uh, character action stuff. Oh, hidden blade. Ow! And the people call us heroes. <sighs> to others, we are rivals. I am the real assassin. What is this? We are all outlaws. Uh Okay. What some of us will be online multiplayer legends. Yeah, it looks like a uh, Assassin's Creed's multiplayer. Temtem! 
It's coming to PS4? That's sick! Such a cutie pie. It's like Pokemon. Guys, it's like Pokemon. Before we wrap up, let's take a tour of Godfall. We've got new PS5 gameplay for this melee focused action epic launching this holiday. Okay. Hello, my name is Keith Lee. And I am the game director for Godfall. On behalf Hi, of Keith Lee, games, game director we for are Godfall. Very excited to share gameplay with you today and to offer you a glimpse into Game the director of Godfall, of Godfall, Keith Lee. What are today, you doing here? Extensive gameplay captured on a PlayStation 5 development kit. Please keep in mind that the game is still a work in progress, and some things may change from the final product. That's never true. That's never true. Harness the power of Sony's it never changes. Generation console. Please enjoy. This does not look like PlayStation 5 next gen. So let's gen. jump right into what Godfall is. Is it me or are games just Godfall stagnating? Is a slasher that features in terms of action, updating their hardware or whatever. Moment to moment combat and robust loot progression systems. I, I don't think PlayStation 5 You can 5... enjoy the game at your own pace, playing alone or through online co-op. I don't with think this is additional teammates. Very uh Godfall is representative of uh, new high fantasy universe. What the PlayStation 5 can do. Knights. Arcane magic and for because if this realms, is what the PlayStation 5 can the do, world then is split up into the elemental realms of like, earth, it's not much better than PlayStation water, 4. Air, I have to say, fire. Godfall is a complete package. All loot and gear in the game are acquired or unlocked through gameplay. There are no microtransactions. That's good. No waiting for content, it's all in the game on day one. Uh. As you adventure, That's you really get to good. tear through enemies to challenge a mad god who awaits you at the top. You play a Valorian knight, a godlike. I mean, it should be like that, but Valor plates, legendary uh, I'm just saying that transform you. More into people an should be following that example. Combat. You have to fight Throughout God your at the journey, end. You'll find ancient Valor plates lost in time, each with their own characteristics and long history. Now let's talk about gameplay in Godfall. First, ever since the, the gameplay different. showcase trailers we wanted uh, to combine action from Ubisoft loot progression with third-person melee combat to create what we think is a looter slash. They're like, look, guys, gameplay. Game is therefore, one part gear-driven and one part player skill-driven. We In have gameplay. That not means only we do win. We want you to find exquisite weapons with powerful loot traits, but we also want you to have that feeling of accomplishment for mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. From a combat philosophy perspective, like if you're wondering, well, what else, what what can the PS to be fluid, dynamic, well, what do you want for PS5 graphics? Offense, for defense, them to animate every single blade of grass? Not, yeah, I do. At the same time. As a result, I want dust to fly in the air every time someone takes a step. On enemies. Also, you dominate the combat space, not the enemies, and the game rewards you for being aggressive. Now that you're familiar with the combat philosophy, let's dig into the weapons themselves. In God, I want an I want animations. I want like the long sword, okay. I want like five thousand different animations blades, based on how you hit someone. The pole arm. The two-handed warhammer. And the two-handed greatsword. The Zweihanda. This is like the game the I always wanted to make. The are the fastest weapon class in Godfall, embodying speed, fluidity, and mobility. The dual blades are exceptional against soft, unarmored targets or single targets. 
but they get blown up by by uh, magic and four consecutive and light attacks and two-handed weapons blades, right blades heavy attack is a spinning blade cyclone the blade cyclone, cyclone. can also be used as a finisher at the end of your light attack combo like what okay so when what people signature say that for the dual our hardware is you build up better charge, you can also activate inner focus, which means you which is you as a game designer blades, don't have to work as hard now damage in a short I feel like it should be the opposite there's also mortal coil like where you can throw your blade like you should have to work enemy, pulling the twice as hard you, now like or five times as hard like the hardware just means you have more room to, multiple to do targets. way more stuff which eviscerates in your game all enemies in a straight fixed path not you don't Notice, have to work as hard after a long sword swing called a timing attack if you press the shield button exactly at the same time you'll perform a devastating shield uppercut with your long sword cool the shield is a core part of godfall it's available to you throughout the entire game if you press the shield button at the right time you can also parry an attack you can perform a light attack after a last second shield block to counterattack with a powerful shield strike. I like how a parry is, is actually a parry defense, but also in this offense. game. It, you can aim and throw like, your shield. It's what a parry is in real life, which is just a counter stance. If you, and the instant block and of course, you can perform is, uh, an R3 ground finisher on enemies. And the, but you also get the instant block, the which is what people think what a parry is. So it's Warframe, but more level based, like, like it's not open world, quote unquote, it's not just you run around and, and shit, it's more just level based, like God of War. Well shoot, fuck Black Desert. God, I gotta play Black Desert. I can't believe I haven't played it by now. We hope um, you enjoyed our first walkthrough video of Godfall running you didn't on beat PlayStation him. 5. We also want to thank all the fans for their Snick endless Snake girl! Snake girl! Snake girl! We have a few more surprises coming down the road, such as details on loot and progression, and are eager to share more with you on our way to launch this holiday season. We hope that you will join our Godfall community on Twitter, Facebook. Okay, I guess YouTube. I'm a little bit more excited about Godfall. Because at, at first I was like, "Ooh, what is this? It looks interesting." Then I was like, "All out" when I found out what it what it is. But now that they explained it more, it's like, "Okay, that's pretty good." Hey, that's a pretty good. That's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this peek into the future of PlayStation. That's it? See you next time. PlayStation. PlayStation. That was it? You didn't have anything else? <laughs> okay. Okay, so what do I think? Um... Didn't leave me with a lot to chew on. Hmm. It just seemed like a Nintendo Direct Mini. In my opinion. Bug Snacks looks okay. Godfall looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I know I was bashing the game the whole time, but no, it actually looks pretty good. I just hope the combat system is a little bit more... Uh... Detailed than... Uh, than just light attack, heavy attack, special attack 1, special attack 2. I don't really want to just write this out this time because it, it, there wasn't a lot of games to show off. Yeah, Crash looks a bit uh, downgraded from the reveal trailer. I noticed they called the beach uh, Insanity Beach, which I uh, didn't know that. I'm still, hope I'm still holding out for Spyro 4. Uh, the art style looks really good. I'm, I'm glad it, it's changed to something a little bit more solid. Uh, I guess this will be my definitive uh, thoughts on Crash 4, but uh, 
yeah, no, it looks like pretty good. I hope there's just a bit more openness to it. Uh, they said earlier they wanted to pay homage to not only the original games, but to also the original cartoons that inspired Crash. Which, I don't know what that means. Because, uh, unless he's talk- I don't know if he's talking about Looney Tunes? Because it looks like Looney Tunes. Or if he's talking about Disney, which it doesn't look like Disney at all. And if he's talking about Sonic, which, which Crash was sort of, you know, inspired from, Sonic took from Disney too. So, I, I don't know what to, what to think of that, really. Honestly, the Toys for Bob art style resembles World of Warcraft to me, with its, like, angular edge, blocky art style. But, you know. Coco's character model looks a little weird, but I can deal with it. You got wall running and uh, rail grinding, which, you know, I think is open. It's a... I, I think that's a welcome addition to Crash, especially since its inspiration was Sonic. Yeah, Coco's a brony confirmed. She's a brony otaku weeb. He said there's no MTX, which I guess means microtransaction exchange or something. Which is also good because that was another uh, major critique of uh, Nitro Fueled was the uh, all the microtransactions in it. So I'm 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 at least glad they're they're letting all the skins be unlockable this time. Except for the tubular Coco, but I can live with that. You get like armor too, like Mega Man X, so that's cool. I'm glad Coco is a more prominent character this time around, since, uh, you know, I feel like she's, like, as much of a main character these days as Crash is. Plus, it helps when you have a story and dialogue, it helps when you have someone else talking for Crash, since he can't talk. Sort of like the Paper Mario games. And I'm, I would like someone to talk for Crash besides Aku Aku. Ika Ika. Dingo Dial being playable is genius, I think. The, I like how they are going for, uh, they're squeezing as much, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I shouldn't say squeezing. They're getting as much mileage out of the original trilogy as they, as they can, which is a good thing because, you know, that's the identity of Crash. That's who, that's what Crash is. And they're, they're, they're getting as much mileage as possible before we get to stuff like crunch you know um i'm okay with hitman you know it's hitman it's gonna be good i don't i do not care about braid sorry hopefully giant squid puts a story mode in uh i already forgot the name of it the traveler the pathless Throat singing being a part of your soundtrack is a good thing. Can't wait to play Genshin Impact. I actually signed up for the beta for it and they didn't give it to me. Which I'm really sad about because I think I think it's because I uh, put that I don't like gacha games. Which is what Genshin, which is what Honkai Impact is. It's the same makers. And you would think that they would try to appeal to people like me who don't like gacha games, but I guess not. Nevertheless, I, I I like I can't wait to play Genshin Impact for its uh, Breath of the Wild style gameplay. Uh, that one game, the uh, Aeon Must Die. I think it might be a 2D uh, platformer brawler, whatever. Beat 'em up. It looks interesting. It looks very interesting. Uh, cyberpunk game looks like looks pretty good, I guess. I, I think this was an indie showcase, but yeah, Cyberpunk game looks pretty good, for the most part. Bug Snacks Game of the Year, obviously, especially since Maurice LaMarche is in it. The Sign game looks okay, I guess. And yeah, it, it's just Assassin's Creed story mode, or sorry, it's just Assassin's Creed's uh, uh, Assassin's Creed multiplayer game is alright, I guess. There was a lot of games they showed off, but like I feel like none of them left me with anything to chew on. They were just like, oh, this is coming to PS4, that's coming to PS4, this is coming to PS4, that's coming to PS4. Like a lot of games that already existed, so I guess that was the point of this presentation. Temtem's okay. I can't wait to play Temtem. And yeah. Godfall looks fun. 
I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but looks okay. Well, I think that's it. I just want to say one more thing. I don't know why looter is the new word for everything, because anything could be a looter nowadays. Like, looter slasher? Like, just because something has loot in it makes it a looter. Does that mean Injustice 2 is a looter? Like, it... Does that mean Crash 4 is a looter because it has skins? I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway. Uh... 6 out of 10. Bye.